Now to infuse some excitement to our repetitive mundane daily life, let's try out some algebraic manipulation problems from Putnam competition. The first one is from 1998 B1. Find the minimum value of this expression. Now there are two not so good ways of going about this. First one is trying to differentiate the entire thing and second one is trying to expand these two using binomial expansion and trying to simplify that egregious monstrous expression into who knows I'm not sure how you're going to try to simplify it but that's not how we want to live our life. So let's try to look for a more elegant approach. The first thing we see when we look at this expression is that there are a lot of symmetry inside it. We have this x plus 1 over x to the 6 and we also have the same thing cubed. We have x cubed plus 1 over x cubed and we have x to the 6 plus 1 over x to the 6. And you may say we square this thing to get this thing and maybe not too close but it seems like when we square this we are going to get something similar to this thing. Let's actually experiment with that because that seems like a way to go. So let's try squaring x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And it's easy to see that this thing is x to the 6 plus 1 over x to the 6 plus 2. And aha, we have this minus 2 attached to it. So we are taking away in the numerator x cubed plus 1 over x cubed squared. So this entire thing is the same thing as this thing. So we know this entire thing can be simplified as x plus 1 over x to the 6 minus x cubed plus 1 over x cubed squared divided by this thing. And now the only trick is to notice that the top is actually difference of squares. This is difference of squares because we have x plus 1 over x cubed squared minus this expression squared. So we know the top can be factored as x plus 1 over x cubed minus x cubed plus 1 over x cubed times x plus 1 over x cubed plus x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. And we are dividing this by this entire thing. And we yell joyously as we see that these two expressions are simplifying. And what we have left is x plus 1 over x cubed minus x cubed minus 1 over x cubed when I distribute this negative sign. And when you expand this and you take these away, we simply get 3x plus 3 over x. And this thing is 3 times x plus 1 over x. And it is a famous result that x plus 1 over x has a minimum of 2 when x is equal to 1. So this entire thing is greater than or equal to 6. And the minimum is obtained when x is 1. So we know the answer to the first one is 6. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, this one is 1991A2. Let A and B be different n by n matrices with real entries. If A cubed is equal to B cubed and A squared B is equal to B squared A, can A squared plus B squared be invertible? And it seems plausible that we want to connect this A squared plus B squared with A squared B, B squared A, and A cubed B cubed. And thinking along that line, we realize that when we multiply by A to the right of A squared, we get A cubed. And when we multiply by A to the right of B squared, we get B squared A. And similarly, if we multiply by b to the right of a squared, we get a squared b. And multiplying by b to the right of b squared gets us b cubed. And once we see that, it's pretty obvious that a squared plus b squared times a plus b is going to get us a cubed plus b squared a plus a squared b plus b cubed. And it seems like we have all the necessary ingredients. But how are we supposed to work with this? a cubed plus b cubed, we know is same thing as 2a cubed and b squared a plus a squared b. We know is same thing as 2 times a squared b. But simplifying it like that does not seem to yield any progress. But wait, what if this plus sign was minus and this plus sign was minus? Then these two can cancel out and these two can cancel out. And we can easily force that. Now it's pretty easy to see that we can change this plus sign to minus sign. Then we are going to have negative b cubed and negative a squared b. Which means that this entire thing is going to be zero. 
And we are basically done. Why are we done? Because we know A and B are different matrices, so we know A minus B is a non-zero matrix. You may still be confused on why we are done. Well, A squared plus B squared cannot be invertible. So let's, we know A squared plus B squared cannot be invertible. Why? Because if A squared plus B squared was invertible, you can multiply by the inverse of A squared plus B squared to left and right side of this equation, and that's going to get us A minus B is equal to zero. And A minus B is equal to zero is obviously a contradiction because A and B are different, so A squared plus B squared cannot be invertible, and we are done with this question as well.